well, let's talk about client secrets for a minute. So, so with the OAuth 2 spec, they're kind of removed, right? They, they, we're, we're removing client secrets because we can't do them in spas. We can't do them in, in mobiles. So there are some security that we can wrap around that. And, and one, and I said I'd come back to it, is Pixie. So explain Pixie. Yeah, so with the authorization code flow, I kind of stepped through a high level of it. And okay. the authorization code flow with the client secret is mostly secure, although it turns out Pixie actually solves a very small attack, even if you have a client secret still. So what Pixie does is Pixie basically creates a new secret for every request, for every initiation of the flow. So when the app goes to start the flow, the app has to first create a new secret for that particular exchange. And it uses that secret to calculate a hash of it that's sent out publicly, but then it has to use that secret when it goes and exchanges the authorization code. So effectively what it does is it means that the authorization code that gets returned in that response without a client secret, that could be used to get an access token. An attacker could steal that to get an access token. Yeah. With Pixie, right. it's no longer possible to steal it because the secret has actually never left the device during that whole exchange until it's actually used to get the access token. Okay, all right, that makes sense. So with that, with Pixie, that's really, it's on the client. I mean, that's that, the, it's kind of the onus is on the client to, to invoke, because what I'm seeing and, and did, well, some, did some reading on this is, go ahead. No, you, go ahead, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll clarify. All righty, it's okay to tell me I'm wrong. I'm never wrong. I had a t-shirt that says that, but sometimes <laughs> I am. But um, so, so from what I'm understanding, if I build an OAuth server, I may support Pixie, and it, and it depends on the server, but I've seen a lot of them support them optionally. Mm -hmm. So if if the Pixie's passed in, then implement it and use it the second time. So that's, and that's what I'm driving at is it's, if, if that's the case, then it's the onus is on the client to say, hey, I'm going to implement that Pixie protocol, uh, if that's the right word, to, to use that. Do, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So I guess just a couple things to clarify there. The... Okay. Um, some, an OAuth server that supports public clients like mobile apps and single page apps should always support Pixie. There's no okay. reason for them not to. So if they are letting public clients not use Pixie, that's definitely bad. Now- Okay, so I it have, should enforce, not just support Pixie, but enforce it. It should enforce it. Now for confidential okay, gotcha. clients, there are a lot that don't require Pixie or even don't support it. Now- so. I'm going to interrupt you one sec. For what kind of, I think you broke up or I heard you. For what kind of client did you say oh, sorry. that? So for confidential clients, okay. I've definitely seen OAuth servers that don't require Pixie or don't even support it. Now, this okay. is more recent guidance coming out of the OAuth group, but it turns out Pixie is actually important there as well. And okay. the attack that that prevents is too intricate to get into here. But I, sure. we do sure. have some videos on the Okta Developer YouTube channel if you're curious about diving into the nitty gritty on that. But but effectively, okay. what it means is that Pixie is a good idea, even if you do have a client secret, because it it encapsulated binds that one request to end to end. So it protects the okay. flow even for confidential clients, which effectively means okay. all clients should just do it all the time. But okay. your point about whether the client's enforcing it or not, the actually the reason that Pixie is a great idea for for all OAuth servers to support is that the mechanism, the way that the mechanism actually works is that the authorization server gets the opportunity to deny requests that don't use Pixie. Whereas okay. other solutions to these similar problems rely on the client developer to get it right. And the OAuth server can't even tell if the client developer is doing it right. Okay, that makes sense to me. So bo bottom line, use Pixie, E-K-C-E. Thank you